going on everyone, Greg here, and today we are going to be talking about the iOS 16 lock screen. Now, I briefly went over this in my last tips and tricks video, but I wanted to make a dedicated video covering a lot of the customization options for this new lock screen, recommend some apps that are really gonna transform the way your lock screen looks, and also just show off some really cool uh, different customization options and wallpapers to give you some ideas for your own lock screen. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, before we get into the video, I know a lot of you are asking me specifically about this wallpaper. I got a ton of comments in my last video saying, "What? where is this wallpaper? I want this wallpaper. This is a custom wallpaper that I'm working on with LD Vova. We are planning to sell it in a wallpaper pack and it's not ready as of the making of this video, but if it is ready, I will leave a link to it in the description below or in the pinned comment. We're gonna do a bunch of different color variations of this wallpaper. So so check out the link in the description or the pinned comment. Hopefully it's there by the time this video is up. Also, before you start with this lock screen customization, I am going to recommend that you go over to the App Store uh, and then you're also going to hit the search and then just search for an app called Widget Smith. Uh, this is where we're gonna get a lot of different custom widgets that we can put on our lock screen. And that's going to include photo, something that Apple doesn't defaultly include. This is a great app, it is completely free, and it's really going to transform your lock screen experience. So step one, go ahead and download this right now. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Okay, when you first get to your iOS 16 lock screen, it probably looks something like this with the default wallpaper on it, the time and the date, but there is so much more that we can do with this lock screen. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to long press on the lock screen right here. That is going to reveal all the different things that we can do with our collections. I have a lot of lock screens set up as you can see. So if we swipe through to them, we can start to see some of the different lock screens I've set up, but we're gonna start fresh. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit this blue plus button or swipe over to the right over here, and we're gonna make our first lock screen. Now, obviously you can see that there is a bunch of recommended wallpapers by default. You don't have to buy the wallpaper pack we're selling today. You don't have to download anything else. There is a bunch of beautifully uh, crafted wallpapers that Apple includes here. And also people just like to use photos from their collection as well. If they got pets, if they got uh, kids. So that is obviously going to be a very popular uh, lock screen too. And you even have options for photo shuffle. If you want to dynamically change the wallpaper throughout the day, shuffle your photos, uh, you can choose that as well. And then there's even custom lock screens that are really, really neat. Uh, you have weather and astronomy, which I really, really like. You have emoji ones that you can set where you can actually pick different emoji uh, to represent your lock screen. And then of course you have the collections and the color sets that you can just all do on your own. You don't have to download any other wallpapers to do these. These are all defaultly baked into iOS 16. Uh, but let's start really basic. Let's go ahead and pick what the recommended was. So let's go ahead over here and let's pick on the collections for this one. This is basically the default lock screen wallpaper for iOS 16. Now, you know, this looks a little bit plain. We wanna customize it. So right off the bat, you do get this nice little effect here where the time's kind of hidden behind this little detail over here. And it creates a cool visual depth effect. But I prefer to have widgets on the screen because I find them super helpful. So let's go ahead and add our first widget. So tap here to add widgets. Now you're gonna see a bunch of default ones right off the bat, uh, weather, activity, uh, reminders. Now, obviously we're not gonna go into exact detail on every single available widget that is here, but let's go ahead and run through some examples that you could do pretty quickly. So let's say I want my activity rings. I definitely want that. I wanna see how many calories I burned throughout the day. I just need the ring. I don't need the exact detailed numbers. We can put that there. And let's see, I also like to have the weather. So let's go ahead and add weather too. Um, there's a lot of different options for weather. Personally, I like to know if it's going to rain. So I like to have the precipitation uh, for if there's any rain for today. And you know what? I also like to have the temperature too. I don't wanna be left out on that. So that's two different weather widgets. And you know what? I use things a lot. So maybe I wanna see if I wanna add a quick to do. Now, this is the full set of widgets that you can currently add in iOS 16, which is four, or you can add two full size widgets. So let's go ahead and remove some of these. So we can go ahead and see what a full size widget looks like. 
We have some default ones picked here, but let's go ahead into the battery section just so you can see. That is the small standard widget, and that is the widget that will actually take up two spaces. So here you can kind of see a mix of the widgets that we have here with two of the small ones and then one of the bigger size widgets. And you can kind of get an idea of how these look on your lock screen. Now let's go ahead and just add this as the default wallpaper. Now, as you add this to your wallpaper collections, you can see there's another thing that comes up. This is if you want to set this as a wallpaper pair, which will give you the same lock screen uh, and then also the same wallpaper on your iOS home screen. So it will just put both as the same. There's no difference between them. But let's say you wanna customize the home screen a little bit, just hit customize home screen, and then you get full access to really customize this. So with just that wallpaper, you can add your own customization. So if you wanted to even change the color, you can see that I can go ahead and choose maybe a different color for the home page on my home screen rather than have it the same exact image as what is on the lock screen. Uh, you can also see that there is a area for gradients. So you can go ahead and change that into a gradient color. Uh, you can kind of move the slider around, pick different colors. All of this again is defaultly built into the lock screen editor. So you have a lot of different options there. You can choose whether or not you want to blur the lock screen. If you go back to the original, you can have that blurred or you can have it just completely shown uh, when you're on your homepage. And then you can of course go into your photos, pick a photo there as well. So if you want your homepage to have a different photo than your lock screen, uh, I think some people are obviously going to want to do that. You can do that as well. And then uh, even within picking a photo, there's actually more options. So you can actually scroll through here to choose uh, natural or black and white. You can have a duotone wallpaper, uh, kind of like a color wash wallpaper. You can pinch in to crop. You can hit this over here. You can do a style color and you can really just go crazy uh, customizing even your photos without even opening up a photo editor, all defaultly built into the lock screen uh, editing page. But that's basically the gist of customizing the lock screen and the wallpaper, but we gotta get more detailed in this video, right? I promise to show you some cool stuff. And I'm sorry if we spent too much time on the boring aspect of it. So let's go ahead and start again. Let's hit the plus button. Let me show you the astronomy face real quick because these are really cool. So we're gonna set this as a wallpaper pair just so I can show you that with these built-in lock screens, Apple does some cool things. So I'm gonna lock it and look at that, it kind of moves. See how that moves when it opens up? And when you swipe up, look at this animation. That is such a cool animation. Let's do that one more time. So you go into the lock screen, you can see all your details here. You swipe up, it does that really neat animation. And this time we're gonna add the weather wallpaper. This one is really cool. I think a lot of people are gonna use this one because uh, it gives you your conditions throughout the day. So you can actually see what the current condition is outside. Right now it's pretty sunny outside, very few clouds in the sky, so you can see it's very blue. Uh, if it was raining though, you would actually see a raining uh, effect on your lock screen. You would know instantly when you picked up your phone that it is raining. So this is a really cool lock screen to go with as well. And again, uh, you know, I don't wanna belabor the point too much, but there's a lot of different customization. Let's do emoji. I think that's also gonna be pretty popular. So here you can see it kind of picks emojis by default, but you can go ahead and edit that. So tap on this emoji button in the bottom left corner. Uh, let's go ahead and delete all these. And then look at this, we can go ahead and add our own emojis. We can just do like some faces like this. Uh, we can put that cat there, uh, a tooth, why not? Uh, let's see, we got some, uh, you know what? Vampire, why not? Uh, so we got all these different emojis and it arranges them into a grid. But you can also kind of like style this grid as well. So as you swipe, you can go from a small grid to a medium grid, a large grid. You could do it in rings. You could do it spiral, which is pretty cool effect. And you can even go in and what, edit that further to the background. Again, you can change these colors. So you can make that brighter or lighter, depending on how you want the slider. If you really wanna go change your color, tap this in the top left, and you can go into the grid over here, which looks really cool. And <laughs> you can kind of like pick out all these different colors. You can go into spectrum, kind of pick out even more here, get even more colors available to you. And you can even go right into the sliders, pick the exact hex color for these lock screens. And that is just kind of insane. So a lot of customization defaultly in the iOS 16 lock screen. Now I should also show you this. If you have a photo that you took in portrait mode, you can actually have a really cool depth effect on your lock screen. Uh, you can actually turn this off too if you want to hit this bottom right over here. You can toggle the depth effect off, but 
let's turn that on so we can show you. Now, if you add widgets, it is gonna disable this, so you kind of have to have a pretty basic home screen, but when you hit done, you can see that the time goes behind my head here, and it just creates this really interesting looking visual effect. Uh, again, the default wallpaper also has this effect, but I think a lot of people are probably gonna use this mostly on photos. I should also mention you can actually change the font and color on the time as well, so if you press the time, uh, you have all these different font choices over here, so you can select which kind of font you want, and you can also go down here, and you have a bunch of different color options where you can change the color of the time, and again, if you tap into here, you can change pretty much uh, the time to any color you want with these hex values, or if you wanna just drag it over on the spectrum, or again, if you want something very simple, just go to this color grid, and you have a lot of different choices for the time lock screen as well. Also, by the way, we've been making quite a few of these uh, custom lock screens and wallpapers, so hey, if you ever wanna get rid of them, just swipe up, you'll see a red trash can icon, hit that, and then hit delete this wallpaper. All right, remember towards the beginning of the video when I said you need to download an app called Widgetsmith? Well, we're gonna utilize that right now to really make your custom lock screen stand out. All right, so go ahead and find that Widgetsmith app, go ahead and open it. Now. By default, you can actually customize the widgets on the home screen, which is really cool. But again, we're talking about the lock screen here. So go ahead and toggle this over here on lock screen and look at this. We're gonna actually be able to make our own custom widgets for the lock screen. I'm telling you, if you download this app, your lock screen's really gonna stand out. People are gonna be like, how did you do that? How did you make, how did you put a photo on your lock screen? How did you do all these different things? How did you put text on your lock screen? It's really cool. So uh, basically there's, a bunch of different options over here. So uh, let's go ahead with a text widget, right? So you can go ahead and just hit add text widget and you're gonna see all these different options over here. Uh, you can have symbols, you can have custom text, time and location. Uh, you can do like different time ones too. Uh, so you can put like 25 to two. Uh, you have a countdown hourglass. There's so many different things to go through. I, I really can't go through them all, but there's, you can see there's a lot more than Apple gives you. Uh, but you can also put like custom text as well. But let's go ahead and enter our custom text now. So you see widget, now hit text, and then you can just type whatever. So we can go, uh, we'll just put my name, Greg's, oh, Greg's Gadgets. Now it's the Greg's Gadgets widget, so we'll save that. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more before we go back to the lock screen. So. Uh, I think a popular one is probably going to be the circular or these rectangular widgets because you can add photos to them. So let's add a circular widget and let's go and pick a photo. Uh, it's already defaultly picked a photo. So we can go over here to theme as well. You can do a standard, a solid. Uh, we'll just do none for now, but let's go over to photo and we could choose from our photo. Got a photo of Goku here that I picked. Uh, so we're going to do that. This time I'll be adding my beautiful self to the uh, widget. And again, you could do the zoom to the face. So look at that, it zooms right on my face. You can isolate the person so it kind of just crops it out. Let's, let's try that. Let's try cropping that out and see how that looks. So hit save. All right, let's try a rectangular widget. So go ahead and hit the rectangular widget. Uh, obviously we have the photo again. Let's go ahead and hit photo. For this one, I'm gonna select my dog because he looks cute. So we're gonna take that one. We're gonna save that. Uh, let's see, besides photo widgets, what we can add with our rectangular widget. So obviously we could do the custom text like we did before. You could do blank. You could do time and location, time and location plane. You can have a countdown, which is pretty interesting. Um, all these dates, you can have the month. I actually like that a lot for the calendar. Temperature, of course. Just a lot of different customization here in this Widgetsmith app. You can really take your time to tune these lock screens to your own personal preference. And what you guys do with this with a lot of dedicated time, it's gonna look really nice. All right, now let me show you how to add the widgets we just made in Widgetsmith to your lock screen. So we're gonna go back to our lock screen. Again, we're gonna long press on the lock screen to recustomize it. We're gonna hit customize. And then all you have to do is go back to where we're gonna add these widgets. So hit the add widget. Now you're gonna see all these options pop up. Just scroll down to the bottom and there will be Widgetsmith. Tap that. Now, at first you're gonna go, where's, where's all my widgets, right? I just made them. So there's the circle and the rectangular widgets. And to change them, all you have to do is add them. Then once you add them, just tap it. And you'll see all the options we did. Now we didn't name our widgets. We probably should have done that. But look, circular one, circular two, circular three, they're all here. So let's hit circular two. 
That was the uh, Goku photo we made. You can see he's there. Uh, let's go ahead and add another one. Let's do circular three. And there's me, uh, beautiful Greg, on our lock screen as well. Uh, we can also go over to the rectangle ones that we made and we can tap that. By default, it just gave us the battery icon, but if you tap into that, you can go through there, see our calendar view, go into the second one, see the photo of my dog, and then tap the first one, and then we could see the time displayed as five to two. Uh, so let's go ahead and change this back to uh, the calendar. You know what, I don't like these smaller ones. I wanna go ahead, maybe I'll add my dog as the primary one here. And those are how you add the Widgetsmith widgets to your lock screen. Of course, you can also go up here though and also change this. Remember that Greg's Gadgets custom name that we made before? So again, go over here, scroll all the way down, hit this in Widgetsmith, and it's good. It's just gonna defaultly pop up. Uh, there you go. So on the top, it has the date and it also has my name. I think a lot of people are probably gonna use this to customize their lock screen, put their name right on the lock screen. Uh, makes it super simple. Like this is Greg's phone, this is Bob's phone, this is, I don't know, Janice's phone, John's phone, Maria's phone, wh whatever, we got names, right? You can put your name right on the lock screen. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So obviously I am not that artistic, I am not that talented. If you say my lock screen looks not that great, you're probably right. But I know a lot of people watching this video are gonna make some incredible looking lock screens with Widgetsmith and with all these different widgets. Um, so really, I, I really think this is gonna be a very helpful video for a lot of you. Hopefully it was. We went through a lot of different customization settings for the lock screens. And here are a few of my favorites that I have made personally to end this video out. But if you like this video, make sure you give me a like. If you wanna see more from the channel, the iPhone 14 is coming out in just a couple days. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We got a lot to talk about. And again, thank you so much for watching. Really hope this video helped you out in setting up your own iOS 16 lock screen. And thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone.